Today I am making a delicious, decadent chocolate raspberry sauce. This raspberry sauce is delicious, poured on top of ice cream, on top of a cheesecake, even mixed inside of your yogurt. The possibilities are endless. It consists of five simple ingredients and it's easy to put together. So let's get started. And be sure to stick around until the end. I will show you the consistency of it and unfortunately you can't taste it but I will taste it to see how this turned out. Now I don't have a raspberry field growing outside of my house in my backyard or in the field behind my house. I do have blueberries but I don't have raspberries. So what I did is I drove to my mom's cousin who lives in a little place called Shidiac Ridge. Not to be confused with the small town uh, about 45 minutes away from here called Shidiac. They're, they're famous for that huge lobster when you drive into the city. Anyway, getting off track. My mom's cousin Diane has this beautiful raspberry field where it's like a you pick raspberry. You can go and pick your own raspberries or on special request, you could also ask her to have them already picked, which is what I did because I, as much as I love to do this, I just didn't have the, uh, the time to pick all those raspberries that I needed. So what I'm going to be doing with my raspberries today, I'm going to be freezing most of them, but I did want to make this delicious raspberry chocolate sauce, or chocolate raspberry sauce. It is so good and it's so easy to make and it's really quick to throw together. Don't be afraid of canning. Start with these simple recipes, these delicious simple recipes, and then gradually increase the things where you're, you're, you're willing to try things a little bit more complicated, even get into the pressure canning. It's really simple to start. And this delicious sauce is going to be preserved by steam canning, which by the way happens to be my favorite method of preserving the stuff that I make. If you don't have a steam canner, don't worry about it. You can also water bath can these. If you're interested in the steam canning, check out the link in the description below. I will have a link uh, if you want to see the steam canner that I have. The first thing that we need to do is to thoroughly wash our raspberries. Leave your raspberries sitting for a bit so that the water, most of the water is able to drain out of your raspberries. Once your raspberries are washed and drained, we are going to crush them. So we need four and a half cups of crushed raspberries. So I'm just going to pour them into this dish and I'll crush them like that. It'll go better. So I'll let you know how many raspberries that I need um, to make four and a half cups of crushed raspberries. Now you want to crush your berries. So I used about eight and a half, eight to eight and a half cups of uh, raspberries to give me four and a half cups of crushed raspberries. So almost double the amount of raspberries, but not quite. So now the next thing that we're going to do is we are going to mix our pectin and our cocoa powder. So we're looking at half a cup of cocoa powder. For the pectin, if you're using the small boxes, um, it's it, the recipe says 49 to 57 grams of pectin. So those boxes are about 57 grams. I don't want my sauce to be too thick, so I'm gonna use the 49 grams. So basically I took the box of pectin, removed a tablespoon, measured it, I weighed it, and it was 49 grams. So that's what I'm gonna go with. But you need to sift your cocoa powder. We're gonna, play, we're gonna place the pectin in your bowl, and then I'm gonna sift the cocoa powder over it. You don't want lumps in your sauce, because sauces don't have lumps. So we want to sift the cocoa powder to make sure that we have a nice smooth sauce. Once you've added your cocoa powder, just make sure to give it a good stir to incorporate it well with your pectin. Once we've mixed our cocoa powder and pectin together, we're going to add our raspberries inside of our pot, add four tablespoons of lemon juice, and then whisk in our cocoa powder and pectin, and then we're going to bring that to the stove top and bring that to a boil. So now we're going to turn the heat up. We're going to bring this to a boil on a high heat. Remember, we haven't added our sugar yet. So we're going to bring this to a boil on a high heat, stirring constantly. You don't want this to stick in the bottom. And also, in this, at the same time, I'm going to start heating up my canner. So in, in my canner, I have my jars here that are heating up. I have, it's, the recipe says it'll make about six 250 milliliter jars, so one cup jars or half pints, I think. And uh, so I, I usually put a, a couple more just in case, but I have eight jars here in my canner heating up. They're all nice and washed already. And we're just gonna whisk this until it comes to a boil. Once it comes to a boil, 
we are going to incorporate six and a half cups of sugar and then return this to a hard boil and let it boil hard for one minute and then that's it. We'll just have to skim the foam off the top. It's really simple. Once this all gets going, it goes really fast and then we'll put everything in our jars. Now we're going to quickly skim the foam off the top. Just take a metal spoon and just remove it. All right, so we're gonna get this sauce into our jars. My jars are heating up in the canner, so I'm gonna go get those. Now we're gonna add the raspberry chocolate sauce to our jars, leaving one quarter inch of head space. And then all I have to do is wipe off the rims of the jars with water, add my sealing caps, put my rings on fingertip tight, and return them to the canner. So now that I have all my jars in my pot, I just need to put the cover on and let this come to the appropriate temperature for my altitude. This is a steam canner. If you're going to be water bath canning, all you need to do is to have a big pot, put your jars in the pot, bring it to a boil. You need at least one inch of water on top of your jars, and you start timing when your, your water comes to a boil with your jars inside. So this needs to be processed for 10 minutes. So with the steam canner, I start timing when it hits the appropriate range for my zone. And for this steam canner and my altitude and my zone, that means the dark green section. And I don't think it's gonna take very long at all. Time is up, so we're gonna turn this off. But we're gonna let the jars sit for another five minutes inside of the canner before removing the cover or removing them from the jars. If you're water bath canning, same thing, leave them in your pot for about five minutes before you remove them. I want you to get a look at the consistency of this sauce. Now remember, you can play with the pectin, if you find it too thick, you can add less pectin. If, you, if you'd like it a little bit thicker, you can add a little bit more pectin, but then be careful because you're getting close to having jam. <laughs> so we don't want jam, we want a sauce. So that's the consistency I got. I ended up with eight jars. I was expecting six, so I probably had a little bit more raspberries than four and a half cups crushed, but <laughs> the more the merrier, so I'm not upset. And I just want to taste it now with the ice cream. So I am going to pour some of this delicious sauce on top of the ice cream. What time is it? Is it? Oh, it's a quarter to 11. We've got dairy, we've got fruit, we're good. We have a snack. Mmm. It's delicious. It's really good. Wow. It's really worth... Um, a little bit of effort. It's not that big of a job. It's not that complicated of a process to do. It was. It's really good. I want you to remember, leave your jars untouched for 24 hours. Let them sit where they are. After 24 hours, make sure to remove the rings and to store them without the rings on top. Write on top of your jar what you have because you don't want to forget the product that you put in your jar or get it confused with something else. I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a big thumbs up. Don't be shy, subscribe, and be sure to check back again soon to see what other content I will have coming out. Can't waste.